Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and healthy. This is going to be a video um, about Taurus. We have embarked in a new astrological season. We are in Taurus season. Um, we are going to be having a new moon in Taurus very soon. And I felt the need to talk about Taurus because there's a lot of Taurus energy in, in the air right now and in the next few weeks and months ahead. So let's break this down together, shall we? So Taurus, Taurus is an, is an earth sign. Earth signs are more about the practical side of things, okay? It's all about, especially with Taurus, we're talking about the physical 3D needs of humanity, Okay, so what we need to feel like we are being nourished, uh, how we feel good about ourselves in that physical body. Um, what do we value? This is really focusing on our values, on what we, uh, how do you measure your self-worth in this physical world? So this is what's going to come to the forefront. So... The upside to Taurus energy is really about being grounded in our bodies and really being in tune uh, in our body. So one of the, you know, strategies on how to tackle these difficult energies is how can I listen to my body more? What does my body need? Also, when it comes to Taurus, um, there's the flip side of Taurus, right? So there's the there's the grounded, the practical, the reliable side of Taurus energy because it's a fixed energy. It's an earth sign. It's fixed. It's, it's really stuck in its ways in terms of what it needs and what it needs to feel good. However, we cannot allow ourselves to get wrapped up in the way things feel in the physical world. That's the downside to the Taurus energy. Taurus is known to be the hoarder of the zodiac. It holds on to things, right? It hoards material possessions because it places a certain emotional attachment onto certain things that feel like they need to be, you know, hold on to. So I think the question here for this part of you know the the week and the month coming up for us all is to really ask ourselves how do we measure our self-worth because by holding on to things in our environment so that can be people that can be food that can be money that could be just physical possessions materialistic ways of being how can you measure your self-worth it's by looking at all these things and saying do I measure my self-worth based on my appearance because Taurus is ruled by um, Venus and Venus is the planet that rules beauty, money, relationships, aesthetics. Um, so really looking at how do you measure your self-worth? Is it based on how much you make, right? On your net worth? Because again, we're dealing with money here. Is it based on what you've achieved, on your achievements? Is it based on who you know? on what you do. So it's all about the physical world when we're talking about Taurus. So that is the question that I leave you with, but also Taurus, the upside to Taurus is also, you know, it's an earth sign. So an earth, earth signs, most of them, well, I would say more Taurus, they're more in their body. So that means they're more capable of being in in the present moment when they really tap into that energy so how can we find a balance between what we are caught up with in the physical world and how to bring that energy back into our body it's by being in that present in the now moment and also when we are in the present moment we start to really cultivate gratitude a little bit better we start appreciating things in a different way so if i would leave you guys with one i guess one idea here it's 
really focusing on what have you been valuing? What have you been appreciating? Because maybe there's some type of re-evaluation of what you've been placing your value on. What are you what are you focusing on that you think brings value to you? Um, it's all about really trying to see a different way, a different approach in what really determines who we are. Our self-worth is going to be questioned here. It's going to be challenged here because Uranus the planet of revolution that comes and shakes things up for us is in Taurus. So yes, a lot of Taurus, well, a lot of people who have Taurus energy and have a lot of Taurus placements in their chart will be feeling this. So what is it saying? Uranus and the sun in Taurus will be conjunct, will be needing um, in the next few weeks. So it's really saying it's coming to revolutionize and to shake things up in the way you measure your self-worth in the way you see your worthiness in the world. What are you holding on to? You know, it's that it's those attachments, it's that codependency that is the downside here with Taurus energy. And so the Uranus is coming to shake things up in that sense where we need to start taking a step back and seeing what is it that makes us feel worthwhile. At the end of the day, it's, it has to come from, from our own core, from the own core value systems of our being. So with Taurus, I think that we tend to forget that we are a light being. We're like a, we're just a soul in this physical body and Taurus energy gets wrapped up into the physical too much. So that's the downside, I would say, that we have to start paying attention to because again, we will be challenged and especially people who have a lot of Taurus placements and a lot of Taurus energy in their chart uh, will be challenged in that sense where what they've been placing their focus and their values on will will take a little bit of a turn because maybe you've been getting wrapped up into things in your physical environment that are not really for your highest good that are not really giving you a sense of of who you are it's 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 just you're you're probably being led down a rabbit hole that makes things even worse for you at this time. If you don't, you know, set the boundary and say, well, this is not what I um, value anymore. This is not what I, I appreciate anymore. You know, the, our value system tends to change over time. And with this type of placement, especially with a new moon in Taurus also coming up, like I said, it's really going to put a spotlight on looking at things differently, but really looking at what we've been focusing on in the physical world, okay? So I hope that helps some of you. Please let me know if you need a personal reading. I have a lot of uh, readings to catch up on. A lot of Taurus people reaching out. So thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to check out my readings through my website or through my Etsy shop, everything will be down below in the description. I'm wishing you a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and also happy birthday to all the Taurians out there. I'll catch you on the next one, guys.